Welcome to this yoga flow practice. My name is Betty and I will be your guide today. Let's begin by bringing the feet about hip width distance apart and fan the toes as wide as you can. Ground into all four corners of the feet and feel a little lift through the inner arch. A little bend, a little softness in the knee. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down away from the ears. Maybe the palms face forward toward the front of your space today. We'll begin with three big breaths. Inhale down into the belly. Exhale out of the belly. Inhale down into the belly. Sensing the four corners of the feet on the earth. Exhale. <sighs> Soften the shoulders. Stretch the crown skyward. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, breath. Arrive here on your mat. Inhale, breath. Let's stretch the hands wide and high overhead. The palms might touch. You might look skyward. Exhale, take a lean to the right. Drop the bottom arm if you prefer to the thigh for a little support. Inhale, hands center. Exhale, an easy lean to one side couple more this way. Inhale, center. Exhale, an easy lean. Feel a beautiful stretch through the side body. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean. Weight grounded equally between both feet. Inhale, center. And exhale, palms connect and hands draw through heart center. We're rolling through the wrists, palms, fingers to wake up the hands and wrists a little bit. Inhale, hands wide and high, knees a little soft. Maybe the palms connect as you exhale and draw the hands down through heart center, rolling through wrists, hands and fingers. One more that way, inhale high overhead. Palms connect, exhale, draw through heart center and rolling through the fingers. Beautiful, pause, inhale, breath, shoulders forward and up. Exhale, back and down, inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. One more, inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Beautiful, sit back into chair bone pose, thigh bones parallel. See your toes over your knees. Inhale, hands forward and up. Exhale, flip your pinky fingers to face toward the back of the room and stretch into the back space. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, flip the pinky fingers back. Stretch into the back space. One more time that way. Inhale, feeling some heat building through the quadriceps. Exhale, stretch into the back space. Inhale, big stretch. Hands forward and up. Standing Tadasana pose. Exhale, hands to the low back or the waist. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing here. Little warm up through the upper spine. Squeeze your glutes to support. Inhale, lift the sternum forward and up. Little baby back bend. Perhaps the chin lifts a little bit. Maybe the neck gently falls back. Softening the shoulders from the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, maybe one more breath here. Feel a lift of the sternum skyward and back. Gentle back bend, just warming up this area of the body and return to standing. Beautiful. And sit back into your chair pose. Thigh bones parallel here. This time, inhale, hands forward and up. And continue that stretch back into the back space with the thumbs facing backwards. Inhale forward and up, palms face toward each other and maybe the thumbs reach into the back space as you open, circling the arms. Draw the belly in one more time. Inhale, hands circle up. Exhale, thumbs into the back space. Beautiful, big stretch skyward. Long legs, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands to the waist. Squeeze the glutes and lift the sternum forward and up. Little baby back bend. The neck might come along. Be kind to your neck today. Soften the shoulders from the ears. Press the hips gently forward as the heart lifts up and back for two more beautiful breaths. And one, ease on out. Let's step to the front edge of our mat. Inhale, hands wide and high, moving into a modified sun salutation, a variation here. Exhale, forward fold. A little softness in the knees, maybe walk the hands down the legs. Comfortable forward fold, let the head hang. It's a halfway lift. Long spine, hands to the shins or even to the thighs. Feel a long spine, belly drawing in. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Exhale, forward fold. 
right leg stays, left leg steps back one or several steps, moving into lunge pose, you might keep the knee lifted, you might lower the back knee down. Front knee aligned over front ankle, inhale, hand skyward. Flip the pinky fingers to the back space. Exhale, open up into the back space. Two more circles this way. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, flip the pinky fingers, stretch into the back space. One more big circle this way. Inhale, flip the pinky fingers back and stretch into the back space. Hands release to the earth. We're stepping back to a tabletop or to a downward facing dog. That's up to you, tabletop or down dog. Whatever posture you're choosing here today, take a few deep breaths, inhale breath. Exhale, breath, whatever posture you're in, spread the fingers wide, stretch the skin between the fingers and thumbs, and root into the L's of the hand, base of the index finger and thumb. One more breath here. <sighs> Inhale, breath, we'll shift forward to plank pose. Knees or feet, that's up to you. Exhale, soft, and bend the elbows, hugging the elbows into the rib cage as you lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Lift the heart forward and up. Feel length in the low back. We're gonna pause here, three. Remember that back bend we practice standing. Feel the sternum yearning forward and up. Glutes active, so squeezing the booty. The big muscles there at the top of back of the leg. One more breath here. And exhale and soften down. It's a push back to downward facing dog or tabletop. That's up to you. Inhale, breath. Exhale, press on back. Beautiful from here. Same right leg steps forward. Same right leg. You can lower your back knee if you like. Check in, front knee over front ankle here. Inhale up, lunge pose, second side. Thumbs this time, stretch backward into the back space. Inhale back, exhale, circle back around. Inhale forward and up. Exhale, stretch the thumbs into the back space and circle back and around. One more inhale up. Exhale, circle back and down. Hands ground, one or several steps. We're coming to forward fold. Feet about hip width distance apart. Top of the mat today. A little bend in the knee, pull the belly in. Inhale, hands wide and high. Unhinge at the waist, coming to standing. Fingers, tips, stretch skyward. And exhale, soften hands by the sides here. Let's flow again. Inhale, hands wide and high. Exhale, forward fold. That variation on a sun sal here. A little softness in the knees if that feels good for your hamstrings today. Head heavy for a moment. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to thighs, shins, earth, blocks, shoulders from the ears, belly, rib cage drawing into the body here and belly pulling in toward the spine. Exhale, forward fold, pause. Left foot stays this time. Left foot stays right foot back. Back knee can lower or not in lunge pose. That's up to you. Front knee over front ankle. Inhale, come on up, lunge pose. We're changing up the arm variation here. Inhale, bend the elbows wide. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together and down and back. And inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, a cactus or goal post arm. Scapula together and down. One more time, inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, goal post or cactus arm. Inhale, breath to the sky. Exhale, float the hands to the earth. We're making our way back to down dog or to tabletop. That's up to you for a few breaths here. Whatever posture you're choosing, Fan your fingers really wide and root into the L's of the hands. Feel a sense of the eyes of the elbows, the elbow pits rolling forward toward the front edge of your mat. And with your next inhale breath, we'll shift forward to plank pose, forward to plank pose. Knees or feet, that's up to you. Exhale breath, we'll lower to our bellies. Low cobra pose, inhale, lift the heart, shoulders drawing down and away from the ears, glutes active. Exhale, release, toes under, push back to your tabletop or your downward facing dog. That's up to you. From here, we're stepping left foot forward between the hands, same left foot between the hands. One or several steps, you might even use your hand on your ankle to get your foot there. Front knee over front ankle. Back knee can lift or not. Inhale up, lunge pose. 
Same arm variation this time. Inhale, bend the elbows, cactus arm, squeezing scapula together and down. Exhale, hands to the sky. Inhale, breath. Exhale, cactus arm. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, cactus arm, last one. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, float the fingertips to the mat. Step forward, fold, top of the mat. It's an unhinge at the waist, a little softness in the knees. Pull the belly in, hands wide and high, unhinging. Fingertips to the sky, big, beautiful inhale, breath. Exhale, float the hands to the sides. Take a couple of breaths here, knees soft, crown stretching. Inhale, breath, exhale, breath. Beautiful. Let's move on. Inhale, hands wide and high overhead. Exhale, to forward fold. Just a transition here. So pause in this forward fold. It'll be our right leg that stays. Left leg steps back. Left leg back. From here, I'm going to invite you to move into warrior two. So rotating that back heel to maybe 45 degrees. Front knee stays over front ankle. And we'll windmill the arms up to warrior two. So here in warrior two, front knee over front ankle. The back side of our front knee is really sort of reaching or yearning toward the long edge of our mat or behind us. And the back foot is at about a 45 degree angle if that's comfortable for you today. The pelvis is maybe aligned or facing toward the front corner of your mat. And then arms stretch long. Just sink in here and sense into this alignment. The strong, solid foundation through both feet, softness in the shoulders. <laughs> We're going to build on a little flow here. When you're ready, flip the front palm skyward. Inhale, stretch back to a big reverse warrior. Exhale, a modified triangle. Front leg lengthens long and we're tipping in. Softness here in this front knee. Hand or forearm can thumb to thigh, shin, or the earth. We're coming back to warrior two. Inhale, breath, warrior two. Front knee tracking over that middle toe and right over that front ankle if you can. Inhale, reverse. Lift out of both side bodies, even this back side body. Exhale, triangle pose. Maybe rolling the gaze towards your top thumb in this triangle. Inhale back to warrior two. Front uh, gaze over your front middle finger here. Exhale, triangle pose. Perhaps the gaze rolls skyward towards your top thumb. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Exhale, triangle pose. We're pausing in triangle this time. Pause here, energy stretching from bottom fingertip to top fingertip, maybe gathering the fingers up top here. A few more breaths, feeling length in the spine. Deep, even breaths. Beautiful, let's stretch out of this, reach out of that top hand, and we'll heel toe the feet a little bit closer together. Outer edges of the feet parallel this time for a little forward fold, hands on the waist. Inhale, lift the heart. Maybe a gentle press of the hips forward, squeezing the glutes. Exhale and a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you like, maybe even walking the hands down the thighs for support. And find a beautiful wide leg forward fold for just a few breaths today. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Lovely. We're moving on out. Hands come uh, to, to a wide T-shape, or maybe they walk up the body. We're unhinging at the waist here. Big, beautiful lift out. And just walking the feet so they face toward the opposite end of the mat. We'll just step toward the other end or the back end of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. And then inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, it's a forward fold. Maybe bending the knees, maybe walking the hands down the body. Pause here. Again, this is our transition moment. Just pausing here for a breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Left foot stays this time. Right foot steps back. We're setting up for warrior two. I'll invite you to pivot that back heel down to the mat. That foot again, about a 45 degree angle. And windmilling the arms up. 
And we pause here for a few moments to check in with alignment. We want our front knee aiming over our front ankle and the back of the knee is, is sort of yearning or stretching toward the back space here, keeping the knee aligned with the middle toe and on top of the ankle. Our back foot, if it's accessible and comfortable, is maybe about a 45 degree angle and our pelvis is really aligning toward the front corner of the mat. Arms stretch long, soft shoulders, and maybe that gaze over that front middle finger. Sink and breathe for maybe another breath or two. We're adding in that flow to triangle. Inhale, flip your front palm. It's a reverse warrior stretching into the back space. Exhale, lengthen your front leg and tip into triangle. So the knee can stay a little bent, forearm or hand to thigh, shin or the earth, top hand skyward. And we're coming back, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. As we move through, check in that the kneecap is tracking over that middle toe as we move between postures. Inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, triangle pose. Pause here, maybe roll the gaze skyward. We have one more this way. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle pose, and now we pause. So gaze, maybe rolling towards that top thumb with the fingers gathered up top here. Again, as much bend as you need in this front knee for comfort. Feel length in the spine for another breath or two. And then an ease out of this pose. Let's heel toe the feet a little closer. This time, heels in, toes out, setting up for our horse stance or goddess pose. We're sitting down. Again, kneecaps tracking over middle toes. Thinking about the backs of the knees, really stretching, yearning toward the back space to open up the front of the legs. Ooh, almost too much reaching back there. Reaching into the back space, open up the front, the inner thigh, and also keep the knee aligned, tracking over the middle toe. Maybe hands at the heart if that feels good. Sink and breathe here, three and two and one. Beautiful, let's lengthen on out. And we'll walk the feet to face back towards our first front side of our mat, step to the front of the mat, and we'll go into a little vinyasa flow. Inhale, hands overhead. More of a traditional sun salutation here. Exhale, forward fold. Take whatever modification you like. Inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders away from the ears, rib cage in the body. Exhale, we're stepping back to our plank, knees or feet. Exhale, slow lower to belly or hover. Elbows at 90 degrees if you're hovering there. Inhale, lift to cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, or it might be a tabletop or perhaps a child's pose. Pause for a breath or two here. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Beautiful, here in Downward Facing Dog, we'll begin to add some variations here if you choose. So inhale, you might lift both heels away from the mat. Exhale, soft and down and away. Maybe two more that way. Inhale up, remember rooting into the L's of the hands. Feeling the elbow pits, the eyes, the elbows rolling forward to help coax the shoulders into external rotation. Inhale, heels lift skyward. Exhale, soften the heels toward the earth. Pause here. Beautiful. Inhale, float your right leg skyward. Right leg. Exhale, we're stepping to the outside, outside of the right hand. One or several steps. Feel free to lower your back knee here. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, breath. Just breathing into this lunge pose variation. You might come down to the elbows or to some blocks for this stretch. You might allow your right knee to sort of sink toward the side space of your room, wherever you're practicing today. Maybe one more inhale and exhale, breath. And grounding back into both hands. If you're not there already, big inhale. Exhale, come back to that down dog. Or it could be a tabletop here today. 
And next, second side. Inhale, lengthen your left leg up. Exhale, step to the outside. Outside of the left hand this time. You can lower your back knee if you choose. We're just going to breathe for a few moments in this lunge pose variation. So knee can sort of stretch to the outer space if that feels good. Maybe even rolling onto the outer edge of the foot. You could come to the elbows or bring your hands or elbows to some blocks. Just enjoying this stretch for a moment or two. And then ground into the hands once again. Big inhale, breath. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. And a little mini vinyasa if you like. Otherwise, we're going to meet on our bellies. So inhale, shift forward, plank pose. That's up to you, knees or feet. Exhale to a hover or to your belly. Exhale, lift to cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog, child's pose. And then we're going right to our belly. So head to your belly any way you like. Hands stretch down by the sides. Palms facing in toward the body. We're taking a cobra pose variation. So I'm gonna invite you to squeeze the legs together, ground the feet toward the mat. Inhale, breath, lift the sternum forward and up. Heart lifts away from the mat. And then a little squeeze of the shoulder blades together and down away from the ears. And pause and hold here. And now we're gonna work with the chin, the neck placement here a little bit, using the chin as a guide. Inhale, let the chin sink toward the mat, head push forward. Exhale, we're gonna draw the chin away from the earth. He back of the head stretches skyward. So inhale, let the chin drop. Exhale, draw the back of the head skyward. <laughs> and we're gonna do two more. Inhale, let the chin drop. Exhale, back of the head stretching skyward. We're still lifting in the heart if that feels good. Inhale, chin drops. Exhale, lift. And we're coming down for a rest, maybe layering one hand right on top of the other. You can rest your forehead, a cheek, down on the hands for a breath or two. Perhaps it'll feel good to bend the knees and give the knees a little, um, the feet a little wave side to side. Sometimes that can feel good on the low back you might choose to take that sort of windshield wiper of the feet side to side. If it doesn't feel good, you can certainly skip it. And we'll all just meet with the legs lengthened back down toward the mat. We're gonna take one more cobra variation while we're here. Arms stretch out to a nice wide T shape. See if you can't drop the shoulders from the ears. This time the feet will come about mat with distance apart, and perhaps you even roll the heels in toward each other. So we're really rotating at the hip joint, but the heels are a nice guide, a nice, nice guide post there. And on our inhale breath, we'll float the heart and arms away from the mat. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together here. Feel the back of the head yearning, stretching toward the sky, so the chin is sort of lifting away from the mat a bit, even as your gaze is downward. And then we're lifting one leg at a time here. Now, if you notice extra pressure on your pelvis that does not feel good, move out of this and get some padding, a blanket or a pillow under the pelvis. Inhale, breath will float as much of the right leg off the mat as we can. It might just be a sense of floating, might not actually lift. And then exhale, lower it down. Now the left leg, inhale, float the left leg off the mat. Again, it might just be a sense of lift. It may not lift away. Exhale and down. Right leg again. Inhale, float that right leg away. Exhale and down. We're still floating the upper body. Now, if you need a break, feel free to lower the upper body down as you continue to breathe and lift and lower alternate legs. Inhale, lift, exhale down. As you lift the leg, feel a stretch of energy out of the toes and a squeeze of the glute. And one more right and left, even things out. Inhale, breath. Exhale, lower and left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower <sighs> and ease on it. down. Beautiful. We're heading back to a child's pose. Ground the hands under the shoulders. Walk the feet back to maybe parallel position, a little closer together. Push yourself on back. Big toes touch. And the knees can be close together or wide as we rest the forehead to the mat. The hips sink back to heels. Arms can stretch long in front for a breath or two here. And we'll take a thread the needle variation here in child's pose. So I'm gonna invite you to bring 
the knees wide. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your knees today, you can grab a blanket, get some padding, or double up your mat for underneath the knees. Um, or maybe even shift the weight forward so your knees aren't um, closed quite as tightly to help with the knee um, position. I'm going to invite you to bring your right elbow down to the mat, um, more or less aligned underneath the shoulder joint. And you can sink, sink the hips really far back if that's comfortable, but find a position that's good for your knees. Your left hand will thread underneath your right armpit. So left hand underneath the right armpit as far as feels comfortable. Take an inhale breath here. And exhale breath, we're opening up. Left hand stretches up toward the sky. We're really uh, trying to open up a little space through the upper back. No forcing, just a gentle twist. Inhale, thread underneath the armpit. Exhale, open up to the sky. Feel that upper back just gently, gently mobilizing. And one more here. Inhale, underneath the armpit. Exhale, left hand to the sky. And then soften on down. Second side. So we'll ground the left elbow more or less underneath the left shoulder here. And the right hand this time, right hand underneath the left armpit. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, we're opening up that right hand skyward in a twist. Feel that gentle mobilization through the upper spine. Two more. Inhale, underneath the armpit. Exhale and thread that hand. Reach it skyward. <sighs> Inhale, thread the hand underneath the armpit. Exhale, open up skyward. Easy twist. <sighs> and then ease yourself on. Back to that child's pose. Whatever feels comfortable for you today. And we'll shift our weight forward coming down to the belly just as a transition. This could be a vinyasa here too, if you like. So, um, or come right to the belly for a break. So that vinyasa would be inhale in a plank, exhale lower to a hover to your belly, inhale to that cobra or up dog, exhale to downward dog. And once again, we'll all meet on our bellies. Take a big full body stretch here. Hands and feet stretch to opposite walls. Then we're rolling on over to our backs. Centering on the mat here. Once again, take a big full body stretch here. And exhale, hug knees into the chest. Maybe wrap the hands behind the upper leg or across the shins for some of us. Maybe even wrapping forearm to shin, curling forehead to knees can feel good. Do what feels best for your body today. And keeping the knees bent, we'll ground the feet to the mat about hip width distance apart, setting up for bridge pose. Tuck the scapula underneath you so your neck feels long center of the head. Arms by the sides, palms facing toward the mat. Take an inhale breath here. And exhale, press the hips skyward, pressing into the palms, backs of the arms and feet in equal measure. We really want very little pressure and weight on the head here. Squeeze the glutes, those big muscles at the top of the and back of the a leg here. Noticing if the thigh bones are parallel. So if you feel your knees swaying inward or outward, see if you can't align those knees so they are parallel in this particular bridge anyway. Press the palms, press the backs of the arms. Feel the heart center, the sternum stretching forward and up in this bridge pose. One more inhale and exhale breath, feeling an opening through the front of the hips. And exhale, soften on down. A little knee wave, arms to a T-shape. Inhale, drop the knees to the right. Exhale, knees center. Inhale, drop the knees left. Exhale, center. A couple more knee waves side to side with your own breath. And even things out right and left and bring the knees center. From here, we'll set up for our final relaxation pose, tucking the shoulders underneath the body so the neck feels long, centering the head, 
on your mat. Bring the arms down by the sides. Roll the palms facing skyward. Maybe finding a little space between the body and arms. And placing the legs down on the mat. A little space between the legs. Maybe allowing the legs to gently roll open and adjusting the pelvis so your low back feels comfortable. If your low back is feeling tense or tight, you might place a couple pillows underneath the knees or a bolster. And then you might choose to blink the eyes closed. Settling into our final rest. Take a beautiful inhale breath and imagine that breath traveling down into the lower body. Both legs, feet, exhale and relax the lower body. Take an inhale breath and send that breath into the torso, hips to shoulders. Exhale and relax the torso. Inhale, breath. Now into the upper body from fingers to shoulders. Send the breath into the upper body. Exhale and soften, release the upper body. Now inhaling into the neck and head and brain. Exhaling and softening and releasing. Face, head, neck, brain. And you might continue using the breath to release and relax the body. Or you might choose to allow that to fall away as well. Perhaps sensing into the stillness in the body. The stillness between and behind each breath. stillness in the mind, that space that holds the experiences, the thoughts, the sensations, memories that arise, they're behind those experiences, the consciousness that holds them. Softening into that space, into that stillness. continuing your own practice of letting go here, whatever that may be today. I'll be silent for just a few more minutes as you continue your own practice of Shavasana, relaxation pose. As you remain here in your practice, as discomfort or sensation arises in the body, feel free to adjust or do what you need to do so you're experiencing as minimal discomfort as possible. When you hear my voice again, we'll be closing our practice today.
begin to bring some deeper breaths into the body. Perhaps finding some gentle movement in fingers and toes. If your eyes are closed, you might choose to blink your eyes open and closed a few times. Maybe begin to find a full body stretch, hands and feet just lengthening to opposite walls. And if it feels accessible and comfortable, you might roll to one side, finding a comfortable rest for your shoulders, head and neck. Maybe drawing the knees into the chest finding a comfortable position for low back, hips, knees. Taking some restful breaths here. Allowing this position to be nurturing and supporting. And when you feel ready, Gently, easily, with a great deal of attention and care for the head and neck, knees and hips, shoulders. You might gently press yourself to a comfortable seat, maybe cross-legged or perhaps with long legs, or maybe finding a chair or a seat on a cushion might feel more comfortable. Feel some stretch in your spine, lengthen your spine. And we'll close our practice today as we began. If it feels comfortable, you can bring your hands to touch and the thumbs toward your sternum. Inhale down into the belly. Exhale out of the belly. Two more beautiful closing breaths. Inhale down into the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale out of the belly. One more beautiful breath here. Inhale, stretching the spine, filling the lungs. Exhale out. I offer deep gratitude for your presence, your energy, and time today in practice. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful rest of your day or rest of your evening.